thank you for coming back and joining us for the conclusion and part two of my review of the Andes uh, lithium ion cordless master. And so it took me a little longer than I initially planned to uh, get back and uh, wrap up this review. So to your benefit, I've actually had a little bit more time with the unit and um, have a few more things to talk about. I'll tell you this, the, the last thing that came up was one evening I was using the clippers in the shop and it was making an awful, god awful sound that made it almost sound like it was coming apart. I still don't know exactly what was going on with the clipper, but what I will say is that the day before I were using a clipper wash, and sometimes you got to be careful with those clipper wash, clipper washes in which you submerge the clippers uh, in a uh, liquid to clean them. Um, I think sometimes it strips it of the lubricating oils. So I don't think, I, while I had placed oil afterwards into the um, three points on the teeth and the guard, uh, I did not place oil in this back portion. Weird thing, I don't know exactly what was going on with the clippers, but uh, they were making this god-awful sound that sounded almost like the clippers were coming apart. And eventually, I put oil in uh, the back oil points. Most people who've been cutting hair for a while know that you have one, two, three on, on the front of the clipper with the guard and the blade, and then one and two on the sides. So those side... Um, oil points made the difference. Once I oiled there, the clipper is quieted down and went to, you know, a normal operating sound. Exactly what was going on, I'm not sure, but hopefully it never happens again and that seemed to cure it. I'm just phantoming that it was a matter of those clippers becoming stripped of the lubricating oils and, you know, it just simply needed a little grease, okay? So, other than that, you know, I've seen a few other reviews about this Andy's Master. And, of course, this one is the corded version. The cordless version is at the shop. It's uh, being put into good use there. And uh, I'm absolutely uh, ecstatic about having them. And, you know, we'll talk a little bit more about that. But one of the things I see people make an issue of in terms of their review of this uh, of the, uh, the new cordless Andy's Master is that it doesn't come with clipper guards. And to me, that's kind of like saying, um, well, this expensive exotic sports car is not worth the money because it doesn't have quite as many cup holders as my minivan, right? So this clipper is, you know, a masterpiece, in my opinion, on its own. And it's a uh, superior uh, product in the marketplace, Um I can only compare it to the Wall Senior 5-star clipper, which I also purchased recently. I think it's a superior offering in terms of uh, robust cutting power, um, battery life, and, you know, if you're a fan of the original Master, you know, over per, uh, perhaps the uh, Wall Senior's, then, you know, you. I think you're really, really, really going to like this clipper. And initially, when I began shopping for cordless clippers, I wanted the Andes Master if I can only have one, based on my own research and uh, based on, uh, the, uh, you know, what I was hearing and understanding about the, the, the those uh, that variety of clipper in the marketplace, the cordless clippers in the marketplace, even considering the Babyliss and other models, right? So, um, turns out that I were forced more or less because I needed or wanted a pair urgently um, post-COVID to contend with the influx of clients that we were, the massive influx of clients that we were having. I needed every edge in terms of ergonomics and efficiency. So, um, uh, I wound up having to get the Wall Senior because it was available in stock at Sally's Beauty Supply. Whereas I had to wait on a pair of the Masters because they were not in stock and I had to order them on. So after working with both of them, I do feel uh, that my original supposition and idea about 
if I had to have one, I would want the Andy's master uh, was held up to be, you know, uh, a valid uh, position or perspective. So after experiencing both models, yeah, if I had to have one, I would want the Andy's master um, lithium ion clipper, the cordless here that we have pictured here. So um, let's touch on a few more things. Um, how, Areas that I feel like it, it is just a very superior clipper compared to the wall for for, for example, it um, in sculpting. So that power that you need when you're um, freestyling, uh, sculpting hair, you don't want to push hair, right? You want when that clipper comes to the region that you're trying to uh, sculpt or cultivate into a particular form. You want it to cut that hair when it comes on co comes in contact with it. You don't want it to push or shove the hair around. So that I find the uh, Andy's master is quite uh, capable at doing, and very uh, that's where it stands out in my opinion. That's where it really, really you know um, is remarkable a re remarkable tool um, in sculpting it, that power that it delivers on the spot. So. Um, it's not a clipper that can't be bogged down. You know, if you get in get in enough weeds, which I have over the course of uh, working with this clipper the last couple of weeks, it'll choke up. You know, you, you get to tossing that clipper through a much, enough hair, it'll choke up. But it is adequately powerful. It is comparably powerful to the corded version. Um, that is not an issue. I, I'm not sure there are clippers out there that just won't, you know, get bogged down under the most... Um, um, heavy loads in terms of hair cutting. So let's see what else we got that uh, we want to talk about here. Okay, there was an instance where uh, the clipper stopped running, right? And, you know, when these things stop on you in the middle of a haircut, especially when you're getting used to the idea of a cordless clipper, I, uh, you know, you kind of like shocked, like, oh, embarrassed. Whoa, you know, my clipper just stopped. I'm in the middle of a haircut. You know, you, you, you know, you quick to try and remedy the situation. So without, uh, and, and, and the barbershop I work in, they play music pretty loudly. It's, it's you know, Floyd's 99. It's, it's, it's the theme of it is rock and roll. So they, you know, it's, you come there, you, you're going to hear some pretty loud music. So I immediately took this clipper and stuck it on the bass when it had stopped working. You know, oh, wow, where's the bass? Boop. And the place is loud, so here's what happened. I did not turn the clipper off. In the instruction, it tells you, be sure the clipper is in the off position when you put it on the base. So this clipper was not in the off position. And I didn't hear it running. Left it on the countertop and went on with the haircut using another clipper or maybe I went to shears or whatever. Eventually, I looked over. My clippers was not on the countertop. Oh, boy, my heart drops. I'm like, where did that clipper go? You know, did someone take it? Did someone knock it off on the floor? There's nothing underneath it but concrete. So I'm distraught. You know, this $200 clipper could just have been destroyed. And when I finally got finished with the haircut and was able to examine or get over there and investigate, I found out that it was, there's, okay, so it was on the countertop. And right next to the countertop is a shampoo bowl not even a foot up under the countertop. So the clipper had vibrated in the um, charging stand and fell into the shampoo bowl. Fortunately, it didn't fall a long distance and the clipper was all right, but it was in the shampoo bowl buzzing. Um, so that's something you want to not do. Um, you are warned about it in instructions, but I didn't understand. I had read it in instructions, but I didn't understand why they were saying don't put it in the charging base you know, in the on position. Well, that's because the clipper is going to run in the charging base. And, you know, fortunately it didn't fall on the floor and break and get destroyed, but just want to warn you about that. All right, moving right along. So, um, one other thing is you notice on this old Andy's, uh, corded version that there is a ring ring for you to hang clippers on a hook. That you don't have on the new cordless version. I, I miss that. Um, it makes me feel much more vulnerable when I'm done with the cordless clipper and I got to set it on the countertop 
or put it in the charging base. I have limited real estate where I work in terms of tool space on my um, at my workstation. So I have to allocate some special space for the charging stand on my countertop where it's, that's a little bit inconvenient. Uh, it's not a deal breaker, but it's a little bit inconvenient. And when the charging stand isn't right in my you know immediate workspace, I have to travel to it to put the clipper on the ch charging stand. Uh, versus if I if I want to avoid just setting it on the countertop and risk you know someone bumping it and it, it landing on that concrete floor, right? So I miss the ring. Um, I I would hope that maybe they would think about you know outfitting it with a ring for it to be hung in in the future, but. Um, yeah, that, that makes the unit a little bit more vulnerable, and uh, but that's not a big deal breaker. So beyond that, let me see what else did we have here. Hmm. Yeah, make sure you put it in on that in on the off position before you put it on the charging stand. Major, 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 major. Well, I think that about covers my main points that I want to cover. So um, if you want an exhaustive um, view of my re uh, review. Um, I plan to do a more elaborate and written review uh, that should be available on my Instagram. I'll try and leave a link for that in the description uh, and we'll probably post it on Twitter also. So with that, thank you for joining me. Uh, I do highly recommend this unit. Um, you know, it is fairly new technology. We'll see how it goes, you know, in, in, in the years ahead, hopefully. Um, one thing, you know, based on instruction is that you, you, you're going to, you can anticipate having to change the battery. So it's not, uh, set it and forget it. Kind of like the old corded version. Um, but look at this cord. <laughs> so you won't have to deal with this, you know, illegal tape and, um, you know, using a, you know, clipper like that, which isn't altogether safe trying to make do so thanks again highly recommend them got any questions about the unit drop us something in the comments and we'll try and address it thank you